Hey folks, good Friday evening to you. I uh, wanted to come back on to do a follow-up on the Rossi R92. And as you can see, the Henry Big Boy 357 slash 38 Special is in the background. But until I get to that, the Rossi, I have to admit, I had no idea that people were as interested in the R92 as they are. People really like the R92. They want to try to find them and get their hands on them. And they ask a lot of questions about it. I had no idea. I bought the rifle. I like the rifle. Finally shot the rifle. And I'll talk about that in just a second. And before I shot it, I made a video about the initial quality of the video of the uh, rifle. You know, the rifle gets a bad rap because of its cost and coming from Brazil and, and these things here. But um, as I stated in the video, the Rossi R92, a 2020 review, nice rifle. Um, and you can find that video that I made on my playlist. Um, the rifle is a lot better than a lot of people think. And I give it credit for that. So since then, people have asked me. Uh, how did the rifle shoot? So maybe a month and a half ago, some friends of mine and uh, uh, co-workers, we went out to Hodge out here in California. And I finally was able to shoot the Rossi. And the shooting quality stood up to the actual manufacturing quality. And it's a nice shooting rifle. It's very accurate. I can actually say that is about as accurate as any 357 Magnum that I have. And so the only thing that you lose when you buy a Rossi is saying that you have an expensive 357 Magnum rifle. This 20 inch rifle, it will do the job. So no problems for me with that. Unfortunately, sorry to report, I don't have footage of it yet. I went out with some people that I shot with for the first time and so my attention was on how people shoot and their uh, range etiquette, so to speak. So I was being a little more cautious watching out for everyone. So I didn't break out my camera or phone to do any shooting, video shooting. I was actually paying attention to the safety a lot more just to make sure that there is no muzzle sweeps or anything like that. So uh, if I can reiterate about buying the Rossi R92, this is a good buy. If these days you can get your hand on them, because that's with everything going on, seems to be a, a, a task in and of itself is to just locate one and locate one at a decent price. So no regrets on my purchase with the Rossi. And also people ask me about the slings. That's a custom sling from Capuro Saddlery. Uh, a bunch of folks that I met uh, through eBay and I have a description in that previous video about this rifle also, if you'd like to get in contact with them. So the bandolier is something that they don't necessarily make automatically. I requested this one with the 10 round, uh, the 10 round holder. So they'll you know, take requests from you and and make what you want them to make. Uh, you just let them know what you need. And so he's done, oh, three or four rifle slings for me up to this point. And they're very reasonable. Tell him 99 sent you and then he'll give you the family price. So with that being said, um, I can take this out of the way and get to the second part of the video that I want to bring some attention to. So I got in contact with some people, the good folks over at Henry Rifles. Uh, if I told you who the person was that I was in contact with, you probably would not believe me. So I'm going to leave that part out. So with my Henry 357 Magnum 38 special, um, I noticed that the new models were out that has the side load gate. This is the one that everybody wants. They want to be able to load from here and not from the loading tube here or in addition to the loading tube. 
So I got in contact with Henry and just kind of, you know, voiced my opinion about what a shooter or the consumer would like to have these days. And so uh, I gave my concerns that the 357 Magnum rifle in the Henry actually does not need a butt pad like this. And if I had it my way, I would have a custom rifle that had a butt plate like the Rossi and matching with the uh, color case hardened finish. And the folks over at Henry, you know, t took my uh, concern, not a concern, but my suggestion, I should say, and said that they would send it over to the design team and then to see what they would cut. Ice cream truck. Anybody want a popsicle? Um, that they would send it to the design team and see what they would say. And they would get back to me and let me know. I thought that was pretty nice that they even acknowledged that the customers were directly asking for something specific and they would talk about it. Um, we had a little bit of a conversation about some things that were going on um, in the world and, and in my personal life. And to my surprise... The person that I talked to, and I won't disclose exactly what we talked about specifically, the person asked me to uh, uh, send my size. I had no idea what that meant, but I thought I knew what he meant, maybe a t-shirt size or something like that. So lo and behold, what shows up at the front door some rifle gear rifle wear I should say shooting wear look at that nice t-shirt I thought that was pretty nice so I'm assuming this, these are some things that you can get in the uh, online in their uh, gift department but not only that I sent my wife something oh he couldn't have wife with a hat and not have the husband with a hat sure did It wouldn't be fair if I didn't include the hoodie. Go shooting with that on. What if it's cold outside? How about a couple of those? Really nice folks over at Henry. Oh, and don't forget, you gotta have somewhere to put your keys. A couple of keychains. I thought that was pretty nice. Anyway, folks, I just thought I would share that experience and uh, say thank you to the folks over at Henry and we in. Um, enjoy the rifle I told him that I enjoy my rifle and, and uh, I take care of it like it's actually a, a collector piece although I am a shooter but I really try to take care of this rifle um, to the best of my ability and prevent scratches and scrapes and dings and so this one right here is, is one that does not get passed around and you know if someone asks me to shoot this rifle, I'm probably standing right next to you. And as soon as you finish shooting it, you can hand it right back to me. So we enjoy these things. Thanks to Henry again. And we still love the Rossi. Later, folks.